Hi guys, uh, welcome to Ranch Transport Journeys and what do you think of the t-shirt? thought that would look good uh, when I'm out uh, vlogging but anyway thought I'd do a wee video today uh, just to go through some of the updates uh, cover some of the future plans and uh, cover some other bits and bobs as well so first of all some of you may know i have recently changed the name from jameson strange uk to range transport journeys and i even got t-shirts printed hoodies jackets you name it and i thought they would look good when i'm out uh, vlogging as well so why the hell not but um some of the future videos um I, the remaining class 385s will have the old Jameson Strange UK logo and uh, the next episode of Jameson's Adventures will be the 385s as well but that would be the last video that will carry the title of Jameson's Adventures and it will be the last of Series 5 as well so that's pretty much it. So, um, the only time I, potentially, the only time I could be able to go out, get them, the last three eight fives done, is uh, 26th of April. But that is subject to change, but this is when the travel restrictions around Scotland uh, completely lifted, so thank goodness for that. But, as I mentioned, I better not keep my hopes up because it is something to change. But, um, that would be that. But, I've also started filming Series 6. And I think I'll name the Video Diaries uh, Range Transport Adventures. So, I've already started filming another fleet of trains. Um, I'm not going to tell you what units it is, but I decided to make a start on it because at the time when I was filming the 385s, obviously with the flooding on the Glasgow and Edinburgh via Falkirk, it kind of stopped me from filming some of the Falkirk units, so... Right. Did a wee, uh, what do you call it? What's the word? What's the word? I don't know, but I decided to make a start on the next fleet of trains which will be the first episode possibly the first episode of series 6 so that's pretty much it so um also as a wee stop gap i have been doing some train simulator journey videos because why the hell not and a lot of my fellow youtubers have been doing the same as well because of the travel restrictions, we can't go out, train spot, make videos. So we just got to do it virtually. So um, all my train some journey videos, I could do some sporting videos. I was kind of rattling my brain on that. But the journey videos, uh, they are kind of based on the, the British Rail 80s and 90s era. But I'm using the current timetables from Real Times Trains. But some of it could be like likes of the Dimness to Kyle Kalsh. I've used the uh, stopping patterns from the pre 2000s. Because uh, why the hell not? And uh, the two stations that were opened, I think it's, I, think, I can't mind the name of them, but why them? So opened in 2002 and the others in 2013. The platform size is pretty much the size of this flaming picnic table. <laughs> it's that small, I don't think I, the doors would open properly with the 37s. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed that video anyway. But um, I'm looking for some ideas for future train sim videos, so feel free to comment below. But as I mentioned, it is 80s and 90s era. So, 
if you're going to suggest class 390 Pendolinos, nope, but you could have a class 90 instead, or a class 86, or if you're going to suggest a class 380 from Glasgow to Paisley or something like that, well, it'll be either 303 or 314s. Uh, I made a fictional unit, 318-1s, which could potentially be a future video. Could then, uh, potentially could be loaded up this week actually. I'm just currently making the scenario. But I am looking for ideas for train sim journey videos, so feel free to comment below. Um, what else is there to cover? Oh, I cameras. Um, I'm looking for a recommendation for a new camera. Okay, some of you may know um, my JVC camcorder recently had a, a screen fault and uh, I did send it away to get it fixed but unfortunately because it's a, a 12 year old camcorder it used to be wrong to my granda. Um, they couldn't really find the parts but that thing has actually served me well for the past two years, two and a half years actually. So this is it, so just a, a recap of the issues. So there we go, that's the one. But the screen when it up you see and uh, even when I twist it around when it got up so unfortunately um, I don't think that's repairable without the, the parts but I have bought a 50 quid camcorder from Amazon which is alright, it's a bit more practical when it comes to charging and changing batteries, it's a wee bit more of a it's a bit more practical but it's not as good as uh, the JVC but what you're going to expect for a 50 quid camcorder but I have bought a wee microphone and all but I didn't think I was going to use that for long but this is alright, it does the job, it's it works, you see. <coughs> I don't need to play about with the screen, but that one works. And it will do the job until I get a new camcorder. So I'm looking for recommendations on a new camcorder. I don't really want to spend like hundreds and hundreds, like five or six hundred quid on a camcorder. Probably about two hundred. Maybe 250 at least, something around about that price range. I'm happy to spend on a camcorder, so please feel free to comment below on recommendations. So, um, aye, that's pretty much it. So, um, aye, thanks for watching and uh, feel free to comment below and any recommendations, any ideas, and that, feel free to comment. And I will see you all whenever.